This is my DIY van conversion of a 2015 Ford Transit 350 HD Dually. This is a 3.2 liter turbo diesel, and in this episode, I will show you how I made a 2 foot by 3 foot full size shower with a toilet. So welcome to my channel, and I hope you enjoy this series. Ready for plaster. Okay, I'm trying to get the other shower walls up. So um, how I did it is I basically take a paper bag like that you get at a grocery store. And because there's a curve up here, I just tape it to this top section and just get the curve. And then once I have that, I bring it out to my plywood. So here's the curve. I put the straight edge along the outside of the shower and this is the van wall. So what I did from there is I measure the entire length um, or height, sorry, of the straight wall. And then at like one foot, two foot, three foot, like every 12 inches, I measure across and get a different measurement because vans are curved. So I've already done the measurement. So you can see how I Basically, this line is kind of curving, curving in, and so, and I'm sure I'm going to have to, like, make some adjustments, but at least the main part will be done. I'll take with the opening of the shower and just do little trimming areas, but um, that's the easiest way I found, and it's pretty accurate. Okay, so now that I have that side wall done, I am working on the front area. Um, so I was thinking because I have my windows the way that we did them, um, kind of making that over here, I'm thinking a big arched opening because it would go with the windows. Um, let me Let me know what you think. And it's an arch, a perfect freaking arch. Bada freaking boom. Freaking sick. Going up here. And so this is where the handle will be. And then I'll mount the bidet <laughs> shower sprayer up there. Our toilet will be sitting sitting here and then this is currently this isn't even mounted yet because we had the drain put in and that is the ground out there so this tail piece will go straight down into the gray tank that'll be under there and then <clears throat> I have a couple options I have made my choice already but just curious what choice you guys would make 
if you can even see that. Here's the rest of the van. It's like a gray, <laughs> that one fell, and more of like a marbly look. This part, which holds the tail piece on, see I left one on, it had two of those, one on that side and one on that side. I cut that one off already, and I cut that one off, so. Now, when I put it in, it will be able to sit in there flush. Um, no more wobbling. So my first plan is to glue this down with liquid nails. And then once I'm probably going to need to let it set for a little bit. Um, and then I need to work on getting the walls and the window figured out. Um, I might have a solution for the window. We're going to try it. Okay. So what I'm using is oh, liquid nails, um, adhesive. And this like shower pan is super annoying because it has all these round things that I'm going to have to put the glue on and then I'm going to put it across like all the edges, which will be going across these two by fours. So um, it'll be glued all around the edges and on the bottom and, um, and then I'll have to figure this front part out. And then all of these walls are not like actually up. Once I have that in, I'm going to take these walls off and they will... Um, like the bottom parts will actually go on the inside of the shower pan because that's how the water, it'll be waterproof that way. Um, but we'll get to that later. Let's glue this down. The shower pan is placed. Here it is. It's level. Hopefully, it's where it needs to be because it's down. I don't know how I'm ever going to get it up. Okay, so now that this is down, I can kind of see, show you what I mean. Um, so this board is obviously not in. Um, and what needs to happen, see how it is right now? Like the shower pan's here and the board is behind it. Well, it's, if Mommy, I can grab it. Mommy, okay, real quick. So I pulled this out. This is the ledge of the shower pan. This will be sitting like all the way to here. Um, and then you'll run like silicone across that so that it will be waterproof. So these I had just like kind of cut out and sitting, I didn't like finalize them. So I'm going to need to trim this a little bit because it can only go to right there and it was all the way back. So I'm going to trim some off the bottom. This wall and this wall are the easy ones. This is the horrible one that I need to figure out. Okay, so I, so it's pretty, I mean, it is such a good cut, but I wish that it was down a tiny bit so that I could shift the whole thing up because there is like a little bit of a gap there, but I'm planning on trimming that out anyway. So I think it'll be fine um, because I don't want to really make that hole bigger and like, you know, have to use more silicone and stuff when I'm just going to trim that out anyway. So it should be fine. So this one is ready to be secured. So one mistake I did make though, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, putting this brace right here. Um, I shouldn't have done that. I should have put it up in the ceiling, which obviously it's too late for that. Um, but uh, it would have been nice just to like have this corner go straight in. So I don't know what I'm going to do to fix this. Maybe make like some faux beam or I don't know. Okay, I fit that one in and that one's good. So now I have to take this whole back wall off. In the shower there's, we have this window. We did not want to close it up because, you know, it's nice. And there's like a little vent or whatever. We haven't figured out what we're going to do for privacy. Um, but you can see, like, see how there's a gap here. There's like a little gap here. Um, so all of these, I want to put something so, um, that it prevents water from getting back there. Yes. So what I'm going to try I got this, um, it's like weather seal. It's, it sticks on and 
it's um like foamy so it's also going to give it like you know vans move so it's going to give it some protection from the window so i'm going to line the whole out like backside of this uh window and then i will re-secure the this backboard um and in addition you're probably wondering what's going on with the corners right well i went and picked up tons of the molding that you put frp in so basically you slide like this side into that like it's like an l piece an inside corner i guess it's called um so you slide each one of these in so that it's like a complete seal and then i'll silicone it um and of course you know i still need to figure this part of the wall because i totally neglected it and forgot but i do have some more of this this stuff so i'll get that done probably another day Okay, so I placed it back in. You can see, so it's not like a gap. Um, hopefully this will work, you know. It's not like w this shower is gonna be like a shower. I mean, we have a bidet shower head um, and we have like a 24 gallon water tank. You cannot take long showers in a van. So it's like, I mean, wash the parts, get out real quick. So this I think is gonna work. Um, let's put the walls back up or I need to cut this back one still and then the walls will go up and this place will no longer look like this hodgepodge of wood. Okay, so these are like the FRP um, borders. So basically this is an inside corner. You can see right there. So I slide this side in. Um, this is going to be like impossible. I have it done over here, I'll show you. So see how it's like slid in. Um, and that way I'll, I'll put silicone there and then Nothing like placing the last piece. Got my cut. Taking it off. So the next thing that I have is these corners. Okay, so I got this corner of the shower fixed, but now I need to do this side. So I obviously don't wanna leave it looking like that. And so I just happen to have this piece of plastic uh, molding and it's super like flexible. Um, so I think I'm gonna use some liquid nails and attach it to this ledge so it'll give it like a clean edge. And then I'll use, depending, like I'll use like some caulk, like the sanded grout caulk in here. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint this maybe like more of a, a beigey color so it kind of blends in more. Um, but I am going to cut these to piece. I just kind of taped it up there to see if I liked it. And um, I have another piece that'll go down there. And then I'm not doing the bottom yet because we still have to like set the shower pan and do all that. And so I don't know exactly what I'm going to need to add into this area and that area because these are in here, but they're not like permanent yet. All these 
walls. I'm waiting on the shower pan and then I will figure the inside of the shower out. Um, but that's the plan. So I'm going to do that and then pick up my son from school and hopefully be able to finish this little outgove. corner and the shower opening. So I love it. So I have my one sample tile, but this is it. So I'm using, um, Tic Tac tiles again. And, um, so first things first, peel and stick tiles normally should never go on the inside of a shower. How I, however, I'm going to do that because I'm a rebel, but no, not really. So my shower, the way that it is right now, it is waterproof. Like these are actual shower panels that you would put in a shower and everything's like a siliconed and um, we've ran the water in here. Like we're good to go, but I wanted more of a tile look. And since this is in a van and like I've said multiple times, you don't take long showers in a van and it's not going to get like drenched in here. I mean, this is our shower head. It's literally a bidet with, oh, there's still more water in there. <laughs> I forgot we have the water on, but you know, you squirt it. It's not like it just runs. Wow. I got water all over. Um, so anywho, I am going to be doing a couple different things, um, that are going to be different when applying this because of where I'm putting it. Normally you can just take this but you just would put this up and then like the grout line, you would overlap the next one, peel, stick, peel, stick, whatever. So what I am think I'm going to do is I'm going to do that same method, but then um, I'm probably going to put a silicone, like caulking bead, um, anywhere that there's like a whole entire tile. Like obviously I'm not going to do it on these ones, but like on the edges of all of these to make more waterproof and then we will just honestly have to wait and see how it holds up um and then you know i'll let you know but um you could always just use like a little tile cement on the edge um i'm gonna do silicone because i think it'll be fine and um and yeah only time will tell but we're gonna get started on i'm just gonna scuff up the surface with like sandpaper and then clean it really well with tsp Okay, so I drew my line, and so that's marked right there. And so now what you're gonna do is take your tile, and you're gonna line the top with that line so that you know from everything going up, it's gonna be level, and um, there might be a little difference on the bottom, but it won't be noticeable. But it'll definitely be noticeable if you just follow that like crooked line all the way up. Okay, first, so first step, this is what the tiles look like when they come. You want to cut a straight line so that you have a straight edge to put on the corner. So I have already done that with this one. So this is gonna be my edge and I'm gonna start in this back corner. So you wanna make sure that after you clean it that you let it dry completely. And I'm gonna be following um, the top of this to this line. So, I am going to pull down just a little bit from the top and match it up. And then once I get that part done, I'm gonna pull the backing down like this and apply pressure and have it stick completely there. 
Boom. Already tiled so much. That just needs to be painted, the molding, and the front molding. But here it is. And I did this up here. In a shower and it's peel and stick tiles, like I said, I was gonna do an extra step and anywhere that there was a seam, I was gonna put a bead of silicone. I got clear silicone and I ended up going with this um, Dynaflex Ultra Dap. And um, it's supposed to be like mold resistant, fully well, uh, waterproof, and hopefully being clear, it won't be that noticeable because I'm not doing in between every single tile, I'm just doing in between every single sheet of tile. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this done. And then I think just a little paint touch up. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next week to see how I made our sleeping arrangements, complete with a queen size bed. I hope you subscribe and like this video and we'll see you next week.